Oh, we'll see, anyway, we are uh, in Texas, uh, of course, for Circuit of Americas for round four, I believe, of uh, DTF1 Season 5 Tier 2 Championship. Right here, short qualifying this week. We've had a few full qualifying sessions, uh, but back to short qualifying here in America. 17 drivers, I believe, from the looks of it. We're about, about to get underway. The lobby has started now. Maybe joining me at some point will be Mr. Uh, Gin and Tonic. Um, but, we, <laughs> but we will see. Uh, the audio being problematic once more. I've not done commentary for about um, is it three or four weeks now. I don't know, actually. So I lasted Australia with Shamrock. So but good to be back in a way. I am also just going to have a quick look on my laptop to see the standings. Smug's here. I think Smug Crusher did well in Canada, didn't they? Big Ben up there as well. So it should be a competitive session. First driver out on track. It's one of the Alpha Tories. It's either Branner or it is the Irish T Rock. Car 51 leading the way out on track here in the sunshine. Tier 1 to follow, of course. Will we see any rain uh, throughout the two races? Quite possibly. I don't know if there was any yesterday in the Proving Grounds race or not. And then the, is that a Williams? Yes, it's a uh, crusher not too far, far behind. Uh, testing things out on the medium compound tires. Let's get the tire graphic up for you there as well. So a few more cars now on track. It's beginning to cascade a little bit. It is a good track, USA as well. I, I personally do quite like it. Again, I don't really have a problem with any of the tracks at all on the game. But I think even though it is a little bit of a copy and paste of other tracks, I think overall it is a very nice track to drive. Uphill now. Into turn one, we are about to go. Brand Irish T Rock gonna get on the curb. Uh, tries to get on the curb a little bit on the entry there. Places the car on the centre of the curb there to gain a little bit of time. And then you really just need to try and edge these curbs quite nicely through the twisty sector here. Model after Beckett's and Maggots, Maggots and Beckett's uh, from Silverstone. And then he's a little bit wide, maybe invalidated. Looks like he's okay. Yellow flags in six three as they queue up down the hill again. Very bumpy, hilly track. This takes the curb nicely as well. And now long straights, all about power. How low are those wings? DRS, of course, wide open. And now braking heavily here. You want to take as much back inside curb as possible. He was not able to on that occasion. And now a bit more of a stadium section here. The fans get a nice close view through this twisty section. It was a little bit. It didn't look too bad, although he did miss the apex quite a lot there. Might have not lost too much time. And you've just got to stick to the right side of the track really as much as possible here to set up the left-hander here. Tricky corner to get right. I think a little bit slower entry speed than what he would have preferred. And now the Turkey-esque final corner, quickest at the moment with a 1.33. Crusher though looked good in Canada at his home race, I believe. Approaching the line, he does not go quicker, but he was on the medium compound tire, of course. Is that, no, it's not Big Ben, it's Go and Draw, former tier one driver. He edges out T-Rock at the top by two tenths. 
Uh, Matty Jr. now. A lot quicker. Eight tenths. I think he has improved on this year's game in, in terms of raw pace, Matty. So it would be nice to see him up there uh, able to show off that raw pace if the opportunity provides itself. Crusher's had a moment. Uh, well, he's either had a moment or he was just waiting for other cars to pass by. Wave on the mediums as well. And now Drip's approaching the line. He does invalidate on the last corner from the looks of it. Let's get lap data on. He would have been a second the Ferrari man if he had not invalidated. Branner's now last corner. Nicely takes the inside curb. What's it going to be? It is quickest. Branner's by five tenths ahead of the field. Juvain, uh, he's gone P3 as well. Pepperoni FC, who I think's been in DTF form before. So good to see him back. Uh, he's in P6. Electro Freeze invalid invalidated. So has Trooper. It's a wide open track here, but of course it is easy to get over get over those white line pickup penalties and such. EC invalidated as well. There's a few cars heading down the long straight there. The race will be 28 laps as well. I'm not sure what the strategy is around here, to be honest. I think the one stop and possibly two stop we could both see. There's a, there's a yellow flag in sector one, and that's Day's Freak uh, reserving for Alfa Romeo. Uh, lost it in that twisty first sector and straight off bang. Into the wall, I believe he went. We're going to try and get on board with one of the Red Bulls here to see. It will be on the right side of the track. Yeah, there it is. Uh, looks like a tie has gone there. Yellow flag, so drivers will have to slow down a little bit uh, through that first sector. Quite a few cars entering the pit lane now as well. And that's the first uh, salvo, I guess, of this qualifying session after one lap. Uh, it's Branners at the top, Matty Jr. not far behind. It looks like Matty Jr. did a second lap on those soft tyres uh, to gain about four tenths, only two tenths now, uh, behind the Alfa Tori driver. So at the moment, it is looking like it could be Branners and Matty Jr. up there. Crusher did his lap on, his, he did his best lap on the mediums. Uh, so if he could find some time, he could be up there as well. Smug Teacher is out on track at the moment, actually. Let's go on board of him. Uh, yellow Flags. Looks like this was his hot lap, uh, Smug Teacher. I believe he won uh, last week back in Canada. In a very good position for the championship at the moment. He is only six points behind Big Ben. We've got Big Ben on 49 points, Smug Teacher 43 and Drips 39, uh, ET 34, Nuns 30, Crusher 28. So it's quite nice, nicely congested at the moment, tier 2, just the way we like it. Doesn't really look like anyone's gonna run away with it, uh, although Big Ben and Smug looking like maybe, maybe the two front runners, but it is, you know, difficult to say. This is tier 2, it's gonna be a long season. Uh, 20 races. And then, yep, we'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, Smug did get a disqualification first race of the season in Japan. Um, but other than that, he was second in Australia and first in Canada. Big Ben, uh, he's finishing the points in every single race. He, Big Ben won uh, Japan and then fourth place in Australia and Canada. The new McLaren team principal. Smug across the line. It is a slow lap. I think we'll stay with him. To see how he does. Although, is Branners on a lap? I might go to Branners. Although, he has got a lot of traffic if he is. Not sure. We'll keep an eye on Branners, I think. As well. Oh, is he going to get a toe here, possibly? No. He has slowed down, hasn't he, I think. Well, let's go back to Smug. Another run on the medium. So is he... 
Will Smug, second placed uh, driver in the championship, will he risk uh, starting on the mediums? He, w he definitely has time for another soft run if he chooses to take it. He has got traffic ahead, uh, which could disrupt his qualifying lap. He's quicker uh, by a lot. We would have expected that uh, based on his slow first lap. Uh, turn 16 there, and now turn 17. So he is going to have to look out a little bit for some of his traffic ahead. Branners is back in the pit. And a few drivers on out laps and hot laps now. Smug balances it on the curb. Inside a little bit off the apex. Not terrible though. Approaches the line. P6 only. I think he might have to go on the soft unless he really is wanting to start on the harder compound. Crusher approaching the checkered flag line. He is down on his former lap and he is going to abort that uh, timed lap there. Genuvain, uh, the leading driver out on track, out of the contenders for pole and I'm sure I saw a bit of leaderboard movement. Might have just been King Trooper up to P9 but we'll stay with Genuvain. Yellow flags ahead. The Haas driver hoping to do Panju proud in this race. It's busy out on track there. The number 69, well, not 69, 96 car. <laughs> Of course. E.T. is up to P2. Oh, and as Janu Vane does uh, spin it around, does well to not hit the barrier though in DNF. Electra Freeze, the Mexican in USA. He's up to up to P6 now. Big Ben as well. He's gone P6. Uh, sorry, Big Ben P2. We are in, in, a, in a matter of seconds. We've seen a lot of movement on that leaderboard. Govan Dwarf approaching the line as well. Big Ben was only five uh, hundredths behind Branners. Can Dwarf improve? He's up to P5. McLaren and Haas uh, with two drivers in the top seven. So those two teams looking like they could get some good points today for the Constructors' battle. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to... I don't know who, what the Constructors is for Tier 2, actually. Govan Drawfer, he's only got four points uh, so far this season. Four, considering he he's raced in Tier One before, um, I would expect, without putting too much pressure on him, um, him to get a lot more points than that throughout the season. Uh, but still, plenty of races to go. It will swing and swing around like that Ferris wheel right there, because this is DTF One Tier Two. It is very difficult to call what uh, may happen. A tier 1 should be... I'm not sure because I'm reserving tier 1. So I'm not, I'm not sure who's streaming tier 1. I, I, will be, I will be streaming tier 1, but only my perspective. So. If Harry's finished his take... Well, actually, Harry's racing it as well. We'll see. But this isn't tier one. You'll, you'll get. You'll all hopefully get some tier one uh, later. I mean, days. If I'm to throw a name out there, maybe days or I think the days do it last week. I know he did tier two of Shamrock, uh, so he maybe might do it. I I enjoyed. Uh, I watched the last uh, ten laps or so of tier two um, live. I was able to catch that, and it, it was good hearing days on commentary with Shamrock. Uh, another new combination, and it was a very exciting. Uh, last 10 laps also to watch that race and hopefully we'll see another exciting race um, south of Canada here in the USA T-Rock he's invalidated Pepperoni uh, on a lap in the red Ferrari which is suitable considering he, he's named uh, Pepperoni FC I, I would say
Drips actually needs to get a lap in, doesn't he? I've just noticed. I mean, Crush is looking to improve. Yeah, Drips needs to get a, a lap in, actually. He's shown... Um, he invalidated a lap earlier on, but Drips has shown he's definitely got the pace to be up there. So if he's down the field, it will be a disappointing day for him and Ferrari. Crusher in the Williams, approaching the last corner. He's going to get it as wide as possible into the final corner. Approaching the line, what's it going to be? Only P6 uh, for the Canadian, not getting the same fortune, the same pace of his home Grand Prix. Being injured wide into the pits. Drips has invalidated. He's going to need to get another lap in. Struggling with track limits so far in the session. I don't know whether he'll have time to get back out. He's going to have to be quick. Okay, Crusher struggling for pace, perhaps. Pepperoni, he's up to P10. He might want to be knocked down. Smoke Teacher now on a lap. Trying to tell who else. I think Crusher looked like he wasn't improving. Uh, you've got the two Hasses behind on outlaps. And a few cars ahead of Smug here. I think we'll stay with Smug. Uh, the South Korean driver. Looks good through there. I mean, I personally really struggle with some of these changes of direction in time trial. Uh, but Smug doing quite well through the first sector so far. He's three tenths quicker, but looked a little bit wide through a couple of the latest corners. Down the hill. Hits the white line quite nicely there. Don't really need to hit that curb, do you? So it looks perfectly right. Again, it's just going to be a case of how low are those wings. Heavy braking, eighth gear, of course, slightly downhill, isn't it? Takes the inside very nicely there, actually, it has to be said. Six tenths quicker. So currently Smug looking at piercing the top seven or so. A lot of drivers out on outlap, so it's going to be a very busy end to the session. And I think if someone can get into the 131s, they may get pole for that. Let's just see how Smug does, and then I think I'll probably switch over to one of the Haas drivers ahead. Final corner, takes the curb, straightens it up as much as possible. Smug up to P2, actually a really good lap, because I think he had, I think he gained about seven tenths in that final sector alone. So Smug showing his quality, not quite enough for provisional pole, but I think he should be satisfied with that P10. I mean, really for Smug, it looks like Big Ben is his title rival perhaps this season, so he needs to just try and finish ahead of Big Ben more than anything. Well, that and just, you know, get as good a position as possible. You don't want to look too, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's still early in the season. You know, you just need to do your job, get as high, as many high finishes as possible and see where you're at with, well, half through the season, five races to go or whatever. It will be a long season, so that's just seeing how it progresses, really. But hopefully it's going to be, you know, a tight season with a lot of different drivers up there competing. Uh, Vane has gone slightly quicker. Electra Freeze ahead. Coyote was not allowed through border control. Um, so it's only Electra Freeze representing uh, the Mexicans here in Texas. Last corner. Can Electra Freeze improve? Crusher has got the checkered flag. Freeze up to P7. Can Vane improve as well? He can. P6. Steady. Quite a good performance from both half drivers, actually. Both in the top 10. Let's switch back to... Smug is pitting. Big Ben further back. Let's go to Matty. I think Dwarf ahead as well. Can Dwarf improve? No, he's pitting. Can Matty Jr. get pole here in USA? Possibly. Across the line. Does not improve. Uh, Big Ben, can he go quicker now? One last corner. Ooh, swings it wide. Invalidates. He's going to finish the lap as Branners improves even more. Cracking lap. Six tenths better than the field. Big Ben did not improve. ET, he's invalidated as well, but he was three tenths up in sector two. So ET, without that invalidation, he would have been P2. Smug, still P2. Two as well. They've struggled to improve on the final runs here in Texas. 
T-Rock improves as well, but he cannot improve on the leaderboard. Only P10. Probably the worst position maybe to be in. But very, a good qualifying session. I enjoyed that. Branners, the Welshman, at the moment, looks like he could run, run away with it in Texas. Five and a half tenths ahead of the field. Again, I think Branners is... I, I've not really seen too much of Branners, if I'm honest. I'm going to have a look at the standings to see where he is, but... Yeah, he's only had two points so far this season. Two DNFs in the last two races. Uh, that may have masked his pace, but Branners at the moment leading the way by a considerable margin. Uh, it has to be said, and then a gaggle of cars separated by two by five tenths uh, from second to P9 on the leaderboard. Are Mar are Merck missing me? I hope they are. I hope they are nuns. <laughs> Shame not to have you here, actually, since you're fifth in the championship. And two podiums as well, I can see, in the last two races. Uh, for nuns, but we will see that throughout the season as well. We will see drivers miss uh, races every so often. King Trooper P8 uh, in the championships, and Mercedes, uh, the only team actually with two drivers in the top eight. Although as well, actually Alfa Romeo, uh, two drivers in the in that top eight as well. I can see so. But no, no coyote here today as well, unfortunately. So. It looks like we're going to see a dry race, which I'm alright with. I mean, I do like rain, but at the same time, um, it can sometimes limit the overtaking. But, of course, we are going to see the formation lap. Uh, Alpine and AlphaTauri at the front. And then we're going to have 28 laps of non-stop DTF2 Tier 2 action uh, in Texas. And that first corner as well, you know, it's very much, you know, steep uphill. Uh, you can break quite late there uh, but because of that gradient. And I have seen in league races in the past, uh, sometimes people break a little bit too late and... Uh, <laughs> slam into those in front. So it could be a hot start here in Texas. It does look hot on track actually as well. A bit of heat haze uh, through the S's. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this though because I, I do like USA personally. It's not... It, it, you know, there, there's tracks like Imola and Monza and you know Monaco which have a bit more special value. They're a bit more traditional. But I think for a newer track, I do very much like USA. As I've said before, it is a bit of a copy and paste of other tracks which is a bit of a... Yeah, you know, not not brilliant, but at the same time, you know, I think it's taken the best from other tracks, and I, I think it's just good for racing because it's a wide track, plenty of opportunity to go too wide, really. And looking at the tire strategy, interesting to see. Uh, the only drivers not on the soft compound tire are Ice Bob in P13, King Trooper P14 on the mediums. And Wave and Days Freak on the mediums as well. Days Freak, the only driver uh, to retire in qualifying. He's going to have to hope he can learn from that mistake and fight his way up the field. Fear Ninja, uh, the reserve for nuns, he's down in P15 on the softs. Uh, him or she, as well as Pepperoni and T Rock, uh, will hope those fresh softs will give them a little bit of an advantage over the guys in front. I think Branner's just going to slow it down a little bit um, to allow those behind to catch up. But yeah, I mean, it's good for the championship, actually, really, because we've got... We've got... I'm going to have to unsleep my laptop quickly, but we've got Smug, Big Ben, and E.T. all quite close on track. And in the championship, Smug... Is second, Big Ben uh, leading the championship at the moment, ET P4 as well. So we've got a few of the championship contenders up there. Drips, I'm just interested, where was Drips actually? Drips, he, he did get a lap in actually at the end of qualifying, so he managed to get up to P7. He's uh, third in the championship. But approaching lights out, we'll stop talking about the championship. This is round four, tier two, approaching lights out 
in USA. And the lights are out and away we go. It was a quick light. It was a quick lights out. Did it catch anyone out? It caught Smug out big time. He's fallen down. Branners might get an easy ride of it. It's fair four wide into turn uh, one. And that was sort of maybe unavoidable because it was four wide. They're fighting throughout the field now. Smug might hold on to P2. He does not. Great overtake from the looks of it by uh, E.T. They're all over the place uh, throughout the field, trying to, my best to keep an eye on all of it. Uh, but Branners, it was a perfect start for Branners. Raraz, Smug, I think, as I said, it was a very quick lights out. Reaction times had to be perfect. And Branners having the best of it. E.T. up to P2, Smug P3. Smug at one point, I think it was down to P4 or P5, but a chaotic uh, start into turn one as expected. And he's under pressure from Janu Vane as well. A few guys putting on challenges in the background. Drips, I think, in the number two car. Uh, King Trooper as well. What a start by King Trooper, actually, on the medium tyres. He's up to P8, or is he? Because the Mexican Electro Free is looking to stay ahead, and they're struggling with traction there. Pepperoni was in AI for a moment, I noticed. Uh, good stuff for first lap. I think turn one. Um, Big Ben dropped down a lot. Does he have wing damage? Because he is down in P10. Pepperoni running wide as well. Possible wing damage as well. I'm going to... Yeah, Big Ben's going to stay out. Branner's fastest lap. That's not surprising. Matty Jr. dropped down as well uh, to P14. Smug's going to pit. So possible wing damage for the championship contender. The winner of last week's race in Canada. A few other guys pitting. Pepperoni's retired in the pit lane from the look of it Govan Dwarf P4 ET looks like he could challenge uh, I hope Pepperoni's not glitched in the pit lane actually I don't think so oh Williams having to queue and Crusher who is fighting for the championship perhaps this season he's been held up by I believe Possibly his reserve teammate. I'm not sure, but Crusher, that's really going to hurt his race. He's going to be so far down down the order now. E.T. looking to keep him honest out in front. Dwarf looking to keep Janu Vane even more honest just behind. There's a yellow flag. It's a Ferrari. It's a Pepperoni. I think that's, that's just the AI finishing its retirement. The McLaren ahead struggling for traction. T-Rock not quite close enough to challenge. King Trooper... Yeah, King Trooper's still P9, so Electro Freeze was able to, to stay ahead of the Brit and consolidate. Uh, Crusher, a little bit frustrated, I don't know. Um, but he has spun as well on those mediums, so over a minute behind the field now. is another fastest lap by the Welshman. Enjoying... The Sun in Texas so far, two seconds at the moment. It does look like, if I'm honest, Branners has the pace uh, to win this race. But we could easily see a safety car. Anything could happen. This is tier two, of course. Three laps down. Can they challenge? I think P3 looks like the main battle at the moment. Big Ben looking to climb up the order. He's behind the Haas. Might be struggling with a little bit of un with understeer with a dirty air. Drips struggling to stay on the track. And the Haas driver might have a good run at him here. Runs a little bit wide. Hopefully didn't pick up a warning. Drips still ahead, but the Haas should have an almighty run at him onto the pit street. Breaks a little bit late, but carries better speed through the corner. And can Electra Freeze overtake here? Drips, because of that mistake, fallen out of DRS. And it's a big straight here. Can Big Ben join in as well? Can Big Ben make a big overtake? Nearly. Drip stays ahead. The Mercedes boys batting as well. Fear Ninja and uh, King Trooper here. And I'm not sure what nuns will think of this watching at home. The Mercedes drivers battling over the lower end of the points there. And that looked very close to contact. Is it? Are we going to see some misery at Mercedes? This is the problem when, when you don't have a holy man um, there on race day to direct operations. But Fear Ninja looks like he's moved up to P9 uh, safely at the moment. 
Hashtag misery at Mercedes. That, could that become another one of my catchphrases? Quite possibly. Electra is under pressure though, heading into turn one. He's going to need to... Oh, and Mercedes battling again, and there is contact. We are going to see misery at Mercedes. Contact there, hopefully no wing damage. Uh, King Trooper up to P9. King Trooper, the usual driver, Fear Ninja, the reserve. And struggling a bit into the S's as well is Fear Ninja. King Trooper should be safe for now. You've got to love King Trooper, really. He, he, he was involved at, he was involved in trouble at Ferrari. He is he, really what kick-started trouble at Ferrari, I would say. And now involved at, with some misery at Mercedes as well, perhaps. If Nuns is watching, let us know what you think of that in the chat boxes. Uh, the McLaren looking for the overtake does get the time penalty in the process. The Haas driver stays ahead. It is the home Grand Prix for Haas. How good would it be to see that Russian liveried car on the podium in the USA? Branner's extended the gap to three seconds. I think I'll put the telemetry on if people want to see it uh, since the first few laps have gone by. Yeah, Branner's ET, the front runners. I think it looks like they, they do have the field covered out front. Ice Bob overtaken Fear Ninja as the Ferrari and the Haas now into turn one drips on the inside. Still going at it here. Electro Freeze stays ahead into the Esters. Good to see Electro Freeze up there, actually. I'm not sure where he is in the championship, but only only seven points so far this season for Electro Freeze. If he can if he if he can manage to stay sixth by the end of the race, uh, he'll be getting more than double his uh, points total of the season so far. He'll, he'll want to, I mean, if, if Electra Freeze, really, he needs to try and catch up to to T-Rock if he can, because drips with the DRS is going to be dangerous. He is going to be dangerous. He's going to stay on the outside, on the racing line, the Ferrari. He's going to punch ahead. Electra Freeze is going to try to break later. Electra Freeze leaves the room. Nice racing. Good stuff so far. That all looked quite good. Who says Drips is a dirty driver? I think he's uh, rather clean based on that. <laughs> Apparently nuns will be having words with the Mercedes boys. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. Fear Ninja, I, think. I don't know whether he's... I don't, he must have pitted actually. Fear Ninja, yes, did pit. Smug Teacher pitted as well. Uh, probably wing damage. 32 seconds uh, behind the leader. I think one stop will be the preferred strategy. And there's a McLaren in the wall out of turn one. It's Govan Dwarf uh, DNF the last two races. And for Govan Dwarf, it's the third DNF in a row. Struggling to make the grade in tier two, perhaps. And that has brought out the safety car. It will close Branner's advantage, but I think he is quick enough to pull that gap again. Uh, but the hard work will have to recommence. Is it too early to pit if you're on the softs? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right strategy is here. So we're going to have to stay, keep an eye on Branner's. I think he might as well pit in a way because he's got such a big gap uh, to fourth place. Um, but it's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how long the softs last here. So I'm not sure whether they'll pit or not. But yeah. Alpha Tori actually going strong this race. They've got Branner's P1, uh, T Rock P4. Uh, Jones Gang, I think he's the Alpha Tori team principal. He'll be very happy with that so far. Um, he's away on his, his business trip uh, in New York for this race weekend. So that's another team principal not in attendance uh, in Texas today as well. Is Branner's going to pit? He does. Is ET going to stay out? No. Interesting. So, uh, so far, every single soft runner has pitted. 
tire choice will be crucial. Yeah, all the soft guys pitting. And it's softs again for Branners. That's interesting. I, I'm hoping E.T. is going to go a different tire. He is. E.T. on the mediums. And as well, the Haas driver just drives straight through him because he's Haas and Haas uh, dangerous, can do whatever they like. And King Trooper stayed out on the mediums. And he has split the lead in two cars now. King Trooper up to P2 and Ice Bob as well. He started on the hard tyres. He's up to P5 as well. So a few of the soft guys are uh, not quite working out for them. This will allow Crusher to catch up uh, to the field as well. And a few others. Really, you know, we're back to square one. This has somewhat neutralised the race. Smoke's pitted again uh, to get the mediums on. But, yeah. Very interesting. Brenner's on the softs. It's going to be good to watch, I think, now. Because it's going to be a case of Branners is going to have to just sprint away. And pull in as big gap as he as he can do. And then I presume Branners will be pitting again. again, And he'll have to, I believe, do some overtaking uh, to win this race in the closing stages. That's good, though. It, it's uh, mixed it up a little bit. Uh, and I think we are definitely going to see a fight for the lead. I'm not sure if E.T. will pit again. I presume he may do. Maybe for the softs at the end. But... I don't know, maybe the medium guys will try and get their tyres till the end. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how durable the tyres are here. A uh, three second time penalty for a crusher. That will be annoying because it is under safety car. You never want to pick up any warnings under the safety car. He should catch up though, crusher. It might be a little bit close, but I think he'll... I think you all catch up. The safety car will be slow through some of these twisty bits. Uh, it's down to fourth gear now. Uh, Branners, so yeah. Both William drivers actually down. Uh, P14, P15, and there's Fear Ninja in the pits. Uh, deciding the mean, the softs aren't the right call. Days freak on the hards. I I would maybe pit for hards to be honest. Throw the dice. Days freak on the hards should be able to go till the end of the race. So he doesn't want to pick up too many more penalties, but if he keeps it clean, he could find himself in a in a good position perhaps. Fear Ninja out of the pits. Crusher should catch up. Uh, by the end of the lap, so hopefully we'll see the safety car in this lap and we can resume DTF1 Grand Prix racing shortly. But yeah, I, I, you know, sometimes I'm not, sometimes safety cars are bad because sometimes they kind of ruin the strategy that's unfolding. But I think I quite like what the safety car has done. Um, with Branners on the softs, King Trooper gaining, Ice Bob Geek gaining as well, and E.T. and Drew Vane preferring the mediums to Branners' softs. Uh, Electro Freeze on the softs in 8th as well, actually. So we're, we really have seen a mixture of reactions, and it's going to be about who has, react, who, who has responded in the right way. Um, but then again, we could see another safety car, and, and if we see another safety car... You know, it will neutralise things again. But, yeah. Hope, yeah, it is in the slap. I was going to say, hopefully it'll be in the slap. It is. Uh, Branner's leading the way in the silver and fluorescent yellow helmet. I imagine he'll start backing up soon enough. He's staying close to the safety car so far. King Trooper and Ice Bob will have to pay attention, and there's something's going on in the in the midfield. Matty must have lost it under traction. I'm just I'm just wondering when Brana's going to back up quite late. It looks like it. He's gone now, actually. A very quick restart from Brana. Just stayed close to the safety car, 
and then went. A good restart, actually. Didn't I've not seen too many like that. Uh, but kept the tyres warm in the process. And he's on the soft ice bub already under threat. And the Ferrari man on the outside. Struggling to find space. And ice bub maybe defending a little bit too hard. He's been overtaken twice out of turn one. Into the S's now. Days Freak's fallen down the order, but he was on hards. Yellow flags. Someone may have spinned. I'm not sure. Not sure who spun. Drips up to P5. Love this camera angle. Drips down the hill. We are going to go. And King Trooper overtaken. Struggling. ET looking to break the toe. As we've seen him do plenty of times in Canada. I do quite like seeing it actually from ET. As long as it's safe to do so. And McLaren looking to challenge in the background. Can he do it? Big Ben. It might have been a double overtake. Breaking heavily. The McLaren. Is he going to move ahead? Electra Freeze on the softs. But uh, Big Ben. The Alpines battling as well. Not sure what's, uh, what happened there. A weird lag. Uh, Smug getting ahead of his teammates. Though for now. Crusher up to P11. Maybe not. Branner's fastest lap. Again, we're not surprised. Another fastest lap of the race for Branner's. Janu Vane pulls out. It's not enough. King Trooper stays ahead, but a break. A break late. Late breaking by the Haas driver. And that overtake. Sure to delight, to delight the home fans here in USA. Uh, the Haas with a fine overtake on the Mercedes man uh, with the fresher tyres. And if you're at the top of that Ferris wheel, you'll be getting a fantastic view of the race. So far, lap 10 out of 28. Branner's three seconds clear with ET 3.1 behind. Again, Branner's ET pulling away. But Branner's is going to have to pit, I imagine, earlier than those on the mediums. But King Tripper under pressure, as the Queen song is titled... By Drips Mercedes versus Ferrari. The Ferrari on the inside gets it done. I think Trooper knew he, there was no point battling it too much. Crusher ahead of Ice Bob, or is he? Looks like he had, looks like he is. Crusher up to P10, doing well to come back into this race. He obviously will be thankful of the safety car, but still good overtaking by the Canadian. Yellow flags, uh, that's a Mercedes the wrong way around from the looks of it. Uh, it's Fear Ninja in Sector 3 right there. Drips will look to keep pace with Vane. Trooper has fallen back somewhat. T-Rock on the same compound of tyre, but they are fresher. And he will look to challenge Trooper throughout the lap. And there's a big spin there. The Haas driver, we caught it right at the end. Unfortunately, it's Electra Freeze. He's going he's to have to wait for these cars to pass by as well. And that is unfortunate for Electra Freeze. It can happen. Drips seven tenths behind Vane. Can he challenge for the podium down the straight? We'll keep an eye on Trooper as well because he is under pressure again from the Alpha Tori and the McLaren. I'm sure if Big Ben can manage this, this could be another double overtake from Big Ben. But he's not close enough. T-Rock is though. T-Rock moves ahead of King Trooper. Big Ben going to look on it at his fellow Brit. He's not close enough on this occasion. Drips still about six tenths closer. Big Ben going to go for it down the inside and had the fresher tyres. An, an, an ambitious move by Big Ben, but it was open for him to take advantage. I think that was a good overtake, to be honest. Had to get it done to keep up with Irish T-Rock.
Smug up to P7 as well. So King Trooper. Oh, he, King Trooper's pitted. So he got wing damage from somewhere. I'm not sure when. Uh, but not going to plan for Mercedes now. Both drivers firmly outside the top 10. Yeah, the two battles at the moment really kind of are drips and vain for the final podium place and T-Rock and Big Ben. Big Ben, the championship leader. Smug Teacher, second in the championship. He's just behind Big Ben. These two have been close all day, really. Janu Vane looking to break the toe. Can he break it enough? Drips isn't really close enough. And again, oh, T-Rock there. And the McLaren to the inside, both on the mediums. Big Ben streams past. And T-Rock might be thinking about some husky chocolate because he just saw, he, he just got a good look at that rear wing sponsorship as Big Ben went past there. P5, Big Ben putting on a good show. He's done some good overtakes today as the Brits. And really stamping his authority over Tier 2. The new McLaren team principal enjoying life at the moment. Drips trying to keep up with Janu Vane. He's managing it, but is it because of DRS only? We will find out. What I will say is, uh, you know, if Drips is, you know, if, if maybe Drips can't get past, there's always the undercuts. And I imagine, especially at this track, low grip surface of the undercut will be rather powerful. Brand is his tyres now five laps old. He does have a time penalty as well, three seconds, which he'd rather do without. Again, love that camera angle so much. It's, it's a phenomenal camera angle. Really, really showing off that crest to perfection. Drips. I mean, he... he he looked close, you know, in, in that corner, but Janu Vane looking to break the toe. He's got the pace now, though. Can the Ferrari look at the Haas? No, Drips showing perhaps a new side of himself to everyone. He's pulled in there, waiting perhaps for his opportunity. He has got penalties as well, Drips. Um, so he is at the moment going to have to rely upon uh, penalties for... Uh, vain to gain in that position or or he needs to get ahead of him by three seconds of course I mean Branner's though he's still extending that gap over ET it's now up to nearly seven seconds and yellow flags yellow flags is day must I think it was day's freak unfortunately uh, day's freak at the back of the field struggling reserving today Fout uh, Alfa Romeo, not going to plan so far at his home race. Halfway through the race, we've got Tier 1 after this. Hopefully someone will be commentating on that uh, on the same DTF1 Twitch channel. And we should also have some Formula 2 action tomorrow as well. Formula 2 is back, uh, DTF2, 3.45pm uh, Eastern. 8.45 p.m. Eastern, well, 8.45 p.m. UK time. Um, so hopefully we'll get as many of you there as possible. And I'd love it if someone did commentate on it. Uh, but we shall see. Yeah, Branner's looking comfortable. I mean, he's extended the gap by... A good margin, but if he does pit, I mean, you know, he is going to be looking at, you know, behind Crusher uh, is Branners if he pits too early. I imagine he'll extend, extend the stint on the softs as long as possible, but we could yet see a bit of drama in this tier two race. Still plenty of time for something to happen. We've already seen one safety car. Might we see any more drips? Not gaining too much in a straight line under Vane. I think Vane comfortable in P3. And I'm just 
looking at the gap to ET as well, I mean, is, is Vayne starting to pull in ET possibly as well? Big Ben unable to get a second ahead of uh, T Rock at the moment. Let's look at the intervals for a bit, actually. Ice Bob, the only driver yet to pit. Uh, 14 laps on the hard tyres so far. That's the positions gained. It really has been the Branner show so far in Tier 2. Started on pole. Still in the lead of the race. But anything can happen. Still time to go. ET, Vein, Drips all gaining a small handful of pl places. Smug had to pit early on for wing damage. Looking to fight back. P7 at the moment. His championship rival, Big Ben, P5, and I guess his championship rival as well, Drips in P4. He's looking even closer to to Genuvain now as well. Could we see a challenge for this lap from Drips? He just needs to get within more five tenths, I think. Get closer to that five tenths. Because again, I think on this straight, he's just going to be a little bit too far back. Vane using a little bit of his deployment and looking to break the toe a little bit there as well. Electro freeze up to P10. There's a Mercedes struggling. Yellow flags, it's Fear Ninja. The field covered by 55 seconds. But the Honda, the Alpha Tori Honda in the USA looking in a dominant position but I do I, I have just said that however I think that gap to ET has kind of stabilized around eight seconds we'll see we'll see what happens in the next few laps maybe maybe the softs have reached their peak and we could see ET come back at the Alpha Tori but again another but uh, Branners may pit soon, and then he's going to unleash some pace. And I think for Branners, he's going to have to catch cars at the right time. But Branners is going to have so much pace. You know, I think he, you know, he'll just need to be patient and look for comfortable overtaking opportunities down the straights, particularly uh, the long straight in sector two. That gap though has risen by a tenth or two as well. Drips doing all he can to keep with Janu Vane. It will be very interesting to see when... Well, are they, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, again, I don't really know the strategy. Are the medium guys... Are they going to try and go till the end? There's about 11 laps left. They could. They could try it. And I think if you're Drips, it might be worth it. You've just got to do the opposite of what Janu Vane does. Unless it really is the wrong strategy. Uh, Van U Pit, but Drips has got about a six second gap to Big Ben um, So he can maybe think about that although again if Big Ben pits undercuts Drips He could really gain some time in a few laps. So it's the strategy is wide open But yeah, the gap out front it it has it has closed a little bit although now it's again stabilized at the 8.2 I Think Branners might pit soon, but again, he's really gonna have and he's gonna have to overtake a lot of guys, and I'm not sure if the medium guys are going to pit again or not. But I kind, in a way, in a way, I kind of hope the medium runners stay out, and then we'll get um, the soft. Yeah, it, it, obviously, if the medium guys stay out, Branners pits. We're gonna have, to, you know, Bran, if Branners wants to win this race, obviously he does. He's really gonna have to show off his pace and overtake about eight uh, of some of the finest tier two drivers we've seen, and it is time, Branners is in the pit stop now he'll want to maximize the exit the entry sorry he'll need every little bit of time he can muster i think he'll be looking at p8 to come out at we will see approaching the exit now he could be fighting on the exit as well uh one smugs pitted I can't remember. If, I think he was on the medium. So maybe they are pitting. Branner's ahead. And I think if 
I don't know whether they're in. They may not be in the same party, but I think T Rock knowing. I don't know whether he lifted or not, but that was perfect for Brannis. His teammate there alongside. T Rock knows Brannis has the pace to win this race, and we're going to see 10 laps. Brannis 9.6 behind ET the leader. Can Brannis win this race? He's been the quickest driver undoubtedly today. And thank you, Bold, for the comment in the sh in the stream box. I do appreciate it. And this this could this is going to remind me of the race we had in Apex, where it did come down to the final lap. And I think I lost out on penalties in that race. We could see Branners and Et fight it out at the end. Branners with so much pace gets by Big Ben. I think Big Ben maybe knows he doesn't need to fight it too hard. But the fresh tyres, better grip. Branners able to st stamp on the brakes. Better than the McLaren. Branner's up to P4. He's going to have to gain about a second a lap. He does have penalties as well. I think if ET can, ET just needs to keep his race clean and avoid any penalties. And, yeah, we're going to see an exciting finish to this race, no doubt about it. We, I think was, it was Canada, wasn't it? We did see ET defend uh, like a lion in Fernando's words. Defend like a lion Esteban. Well, it's not Esteban today. It's E.T. the Gamer. But 8.2 behind. Smug and Electro Freeze. Electro Freeze pits. I think we're just going to... Uh, un unless I see any overtaking, I'm just going to keep the camera on uh, Branners uh, for the remaining 9-10 laps because this really has been his race. He risked the softs on the safety car pit stop, everyone else went to mediums. We are going to find out whether or not that is the right call by the end of the race. Drips ahead. Drips, I think, ran out of energy in the end. Fallen back from Vane, but that will, you know... What's it? I don't know why that's been given. Five second time penalty there. Not sure why that was given. You might want to get that removed after the race possibly um but it, it, it's good for branners in a way because no one's in a train ahead of him he can pick them off one by one yeah i love that camera some of the camera angles brilliant trooper and smug batter let's just cut back to this Smug with a mighty wide line there. Looking to switch it back. Sold. Trooper a dummy. Fantastic overtake of a second place driver in the championship. Smug teacher. He's on the soft. So is Trooper. They're looking to really push in the final few laps. Smug needs to probably get a little bit of overtake and done anyway. Uh, just get a few more points for his championship battle. There's a spark. Someone's lit a firework in a... Someone's lit a firework on the sausage curb. There. Well, it could be appropriate because we could see it by the end of the day. Drips. Ugh. <laughs> I think he didn't want any of Branners. I think he knew Branners was going to get past him rather easily. And there's a yellow flag. It's Day's Freak, the teammate of ET. Are we going to see a safety car? We are. That is perhaps a little bit controversial. I know he didn't crash on purpose. But, well, I don't know if that, is that good or bad for E.T.? I don't know, really. I do not know. I do not know. Is it the Alfa Romeo plan? Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm sure he didn't crash on purpose or anything. I'm not, you know. I, I only say that jokingly. I don't, I don't, you know. Um, is E.T. going to pit? Does he think it's not worth staying out? I don't know. He may do. Oh, he is. ET's going to pit now. So this race, once again, this race has changed completely because of a safety car. They're all pitting now. Branners is going to stay out. And this is this going to be like Hamilton in Hungary 2021? Because they're all pitting now. It's only Branners staying out. He's decided to go for track position. But E.T.'s going to be right behind him now on the soft tyres. And has the safety car 
That has for safety car stolen the race away from Branners. It's this. Michael, Michael, this is not right all over again. It quite possibly is. We're going to find out. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'd love to hear Branners' team radio right now. Um, what is he thinking? I don't, I mean, to be fair to him as well, he obviously used a fresh set of softs earlier in the race. So does he even have any fresh so set of softs left? Maybe not, probably not. But E.T. may be laughing his arse off because he's right behind Branners on the better tyres. But we, we did see earlier on, Branners does have the pace. He, he, you know, without any disrespect to anyone else, Branners has definitely been the fastest driver here today. But the safety car, well, the safety cars have favoured the opposition. Everyone on the softs. Look at that on the left side of your screen. They're all on the softs apart from Branners and Ice Bob. Ooh, this is going to be a very interesting end to the race. Branner's his charge to the front was disrupted. E.T. has no penalties. Branner's has three seconds. It's not in the slap, is it? So I'm just have a quick look at uh, Branner's with three warnings. E.T. though he's got two warnings on the on the first soft stint. So E.T. will have to be careful. If he picks up one more warning, he'll have the same number of penalties as Branners. And this really is Tier 2 at its finest. Really. I mean, it's Tier 2. We get safety cars in Tier 2 <laughs> quite often. Um, but it's kept the race interesting. I mean, I, I kind of feel bad for Branners because I think, as I said, without any disrespect to anyone else, I think he has been the quickest driver um, by quite a bit. I think, it, you know, that's been clear. Um, but the firework, look at that sparkler. Look at that. So, exci the, so excited. I'm about the closing few laps. Hope you guys are at home uh, watching as well. It is an exciting finish to the fourth round. Of tier two. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So it's gonna. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I hope it's going to be a, a good fight. Uh, obviously clean and everything. Hopefully it's not. I don't. What I do not want is our oh, ET DRS on this straight. Um. But I want to see some defending from Branners. I think, and he's entitled to defend. He will feel like he's been hard done by. But yeah, what a marvellous scenario. Smug, Smug's in P6 now as well. He, he's done well to come back uh, after the early pit stop. And for a lot of these guys, it's just going to be about taking your opportunities. The safety car, will it be in... Will the safety car be in this lap? I think Branners, in a way, it's better for Branners if it, if it stays out another lap. Uh, everyone's ERS is going to get to 100%. Oh, it is in this lap. It's a late call as well. And that reminds me even more of Abu Dhabi. Michael, this is not right. You've called in the safety car as late as possible. What are you doing? Is Michael Massey here in DTF1 Tier 2 today? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. This is why, in my decision, just, just let us humans take charge. Bran, as he stayed close to the safety car on the last occasion, he's looking to bunch it up a little bit more. A little bit more defensive. There was contact. I think we'll see that removed after the race. Drips pitting not sure why did he have a drive through not sure no idea uh drips in the pit lane uh branners and et going to go at it i think as i said let them race get those penalties removed after the race um unless it was anything dangerous but didn't look like it yeah no michael no <laughs> five laps to go it's going to be branners versus et branners has had the better start through the s's and et really struggling on the softs and in the process well, no, no penalty. That was just obviously the ones earlier. But E.T. really has dropped off. I'm not sure why. E.T. really struggling. 
Although, did he get wing damage? I think he might have got wind... Maybe he got wind damage from the collision. I'm not sure, but ET really under pressure, having to defend. It's not gone the way we expected. It's ET under pressure. And I think maybe he's got wing damage, because I don't see how he's this slow. And it might be a controversial finish this here, too. ET under pressure. Haas versus McLaren with an Alpine not far behind. No DRS yet. It's just the way we like it. And Big Ben out breaking himself. Too much of a slipstream. He probably, he. I think he must have got wing damage from that. Big Ben looking for it on the inside, just like he did to King Trooper. Gets the overtake done. E.T. looking to fight still, but does use the track. The outside to his advantage. Slight contact there. Big Ben was passed. And they're all scrapping behind Branners, who looks safe for the moment out front. Unless Big Ben has anything to say about it. E.T. all over the track. I think he got wing damage, but I, I can't see any visually. But based on... I don't Unless he's on used tyres. He could be on used use softs uh, but they are really fighting back here for the podium places king trooper as well steaming down the inside of of a wave we are going to catch as much of this as possible we might miss a few bits of action the fireworks still going off and the has driver struggling smug on the back of him. oh and on the outside or was it the inside? I'm not sure. Vane passed E.T. Look at this. Too wide at the back of the S's on the runoff. I thought we were going to see excitement out front. But we're seeing even more too wide now. This is what this track is all about. It's there and wide again. And we are seeing a very heated end to round four. DTF1, TT. And look at this. Could we be four wide here? Mercedes versus AlphaTauri. King Trooper now finds himself up in P5. T-Rock looking to fight it. Can't quite do it there. Good overtake by Trooper. Big Ben 3.8 behind Branners. E.T. He's really... Oh, I think he's... Oh, I, thought, oh he, I think he has to have end plate damage. There's no way he's understeering that much. That Trooper could just walk through the inside. Uh, Crash behind maybe wave is out of the race i think he does have end plate damage actually on the inside of the wing on the right i think i saw but i'm not 100 percent sure on that i'm gonna have another look here i think yeah i think there's damage here i think on the inside of both the end plates yeah i think there is i think uh, it has to be you know it has to be damage um E.T. down to fifth, so they might want to take a look. The stewards may take a look at the telemetries, I guess, from that collision. Uh, five second penalties for Branners and E.T. We could see those removed, uh, though. I'm not sure, though, because as a, it looks like E.T. may have got uh, wing damage from it. And again, under pressure. He's looking to break the toe like in Canada. T-Rock and Crusher fighting as well. This could be a free freeway battle here. They're going to get a show, those on the right. E.T. is going to stay ahead, or is he? Crusher on the outside, just getting a better line, better corner speed. And Crusher now up to P5. He was at the back of the field. He was a minute behind the leader. But now back in P5, E.T., Taking a page out of Big Ben's playbook with the dive. And Crusher steaming around the outside in the Williams. E.T. again. Yeah, he has to have wing damage because he's, he's just struggling way too much for grip there. Contact there. Not sure what to say about that. Uh, T-Rock up to P6. Good job from him. He has got quite a few penalties that could see him get knocked down the order. Smug struggling. Yeah, and look at this. Uh, I love to see this. Look at this hard defense pulling to the inside of a track. Good racing, though. Looked like no contact. Uh, T-Rock up to P6. It, it is somewhat of a losing battle for E.T. Down to P7. I'll be interested to see what clips are submitted after the race. Two free laps to go. Big Ben's got another penalty. So, oh, and contact there. Um, and uh, Branners should be... Fear Ninja all over the place. I think because of the wing damage. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
That was a bit silly. Oh, well, as they say, caught in 4K. Caught in 4K. That looked quite clear to me, is all I'm going to say. Uh, on with the race. Uh, E.T. is staying with T-Rock. E.T.'s going to fire back. A little bit of a late move, maybe, to defend by T-Rock. E.T.'s still there on the outside. He is going to look to go ahead and <laughs> some wheel banging now. It's getting competitive. T-Rock stays ahead. Should have it covered. Yeah, I'm... It, I don't, it's a shame, if, you know, because I think we missed out on E.T. versus Branners at the end. But we've seen a lot of great fights uh, from 2nd to 7th, really. E.T. really struggling. Janu Vane and Big Ben aren't done yet. I think Branners has had a good pace, so I will say that. I mean, he is on the, he's obviously on the mediums. Uh, but... Branners on the less grippier tyres. He is at ET, back ahead of T-Rock. These two are giving us the battle we missed out on. Alpha Tori versus, <laughs> Alpha Tori versus uh, the Alfa Romeo. The Alpha Tori skipping across the sausage curbs stays ahead. I think that would have been a warning or a penalty perhaps. T-Rock still ahead. Big Ben under pressure from Janu Vane. If that time penalty stands, Vane could be looking at the race lead if he gets a move on. Janu moves ahead. Four point seven behind the leader now. So it depends if we see those penalties removed or not. E. T. and T. Rock still battling. It's nip and tuck. Between these two. Tight stuff. E.T. back ahead. E.T. holding on. Look at that. The Alpine. Really, really about to fall off the rails there. And T-Rock right up behind E.T. E.T. looking to break the toe with a little bit of weaving. They might want to look at that. I'll leave it up to T-Rock to submit that one if he wants to. On the outside, E.T. stays ahead. I kind of like to see it, but at the same time, I know if I was behind E.T., it would irritate me. <laughs> so, But from, from a commentating perspective, I quite like to see it because it looks quite satisfying. Uh, to watch really or well, it is satisfying to watch really um, but E.T. he's going to have to defend against T-Rock or get the DRS I hope one day we can just get rid of the DRS, DRS in a way because I think this could be a little bit too easy for E.T. and they're both they are both actually really low on charge Ice Bob has a little bit more behind he's not using it yet Branners is under threat still from Vane. As I said, I don't know whether we'll see the five seconds removed or not. E.T. still ahead for now. There's still some corners left. And T-Rock running in too late there. Outbreaking himself. Losing. And E.T. back out. It. I think really Branners probably has to give that back. Really anyway. Because the, the contact caused the, the overtaking away. Uh, oh, <laughs> And Ice Bob having to slip around the outside there. Ice Bob struggling with un understeer. And T Rock as well. He's lost out again. Great overtake by Matty Jr. He's not quite lived up to the pace uh, he showed in qualifying. But Matty Jr. Uh, up to P6. Good job from him um, to gain back places. Branner's P2. It was his race to lose. And at the moment, he has lost out. Again, I don't know what's going to happen with all the stewarding. Uh, so a lot of it is up for grabs. There, perhaps. Uh, Big Ben, P3. Great job from him. Um, because he is, of course, one of the leading contenders in the championship. That should see him extend his championship lead. Smug takes the fastest lap. But I think has lost out on any points. So not a great day for Smug in the end. 
But yeah, Big Ben consolidating his championship lead in Texas. But Brenner's also emerging, uh, perhaps as a title contender in P2. Well done to all the drivers. A good overall race. But yes, uh, I will say thank you all for watching. I enjoyed commentating, and I always do. I may, may not uh, be in Mexico next week. I do love Mexico, so I would, I would like to commentate on that because for turn one, first lap is going to be something special, um, super entertaining. I love turn one Mexico. It's just such a, such a fun time. Everyone's trying to get slipstream. You know, you don't really want to be on pole either. So that's. I'm I'm hoping to commentate on that. To be honest, it just depends whether I'm going out out or or not. Um, but yes, thank you all for watching. I hope someone's going to be commentating CR1 because I think it is so much better when we get commentators streaming the races. Um, but yes, take care. Uh, yes, TR1 should, I think starting at 8:45, and then we should have F2 uh, tomorrow at 8:45 UK, 3:45 uh, PM Eastern. So yeah, take care. Bye for now.